Let's look at finding the domain and range of a function from its graph. For example, here's the graph of f. Let's find its domain and range. Now remember that the graph of f is the set of all points x, y, such that y is equal to f of x. Now the domain is the set of all x-coordinates. of points on the graph. And the range is the set of all y-coordinates of points on the graph. So looking at our graph, what is the set of all possible x-coordinates of points on the graph? It's this interval here, isn't it? Think of projecting the graph onto the x-axis, and we'll get this interval. Notice that if we go further to the right here, there's no point on the graph with these x-coordinates. Or if we go further to the left over here, there's no point on the graph with these x-coordinates either. So therefore, our domain is this interval, negative 3 up to 3. And notice that this is an open parenthesis here because this point over here is open. In other words, x equal to 3 is not the x-coordinate of any point on that graph because of that open circle. Now what about the range? What is the set of all possible y-coordinates of points on the graph? Let's look at our graph again. The set of all possible y-coordinates of points on the graph is this interval here. Think of projecting the graph onto the y-axis. So the range then is this interval. negative 4 up to 5. Now some students think that we should not include 5 in our range because of this open circle over here. However, if you look over here, there is a point on the graph with the y-coordinate equal to 5, which is why we include 5 here. Therefore, these would be our answers here. All right, let's look at another example. Here's the graph of G. Let's find its domain and range. Again, the graph is the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that y is equal to g of x. And again, the domain is the set of all possible x-coordinates of points on the graph. And the range is the set of all y-coordinates of points on the graph. Okay, so what is the domain? What is the set of all possible x-coordinates of points on our graph? So here's our graph. Again, think of projecting the graph onto the x-axis. So the domain then would be this interval here together with this interval here. That is, the domain is equal to negative 2 to 
to negative 1, union 0 up to 4. Notice a few things here, again, because of this open circle here. This is open. x equal to 4 is not the x-coordinate of any point on our graph. And also notice here there's this gap between negative 1 and zero because those x values are not the x coordinate of any point on our graph. Neither are the x values to the right of four or the x values to the left of negative two. So this is our domain. Now what about the range? Again, looking at our graph, remember the range is the set of all possible y-coordinates of points on our graph. Again, thinking of projecting this graph onto the y-axis will give us this interval here. That is, the range is equal to the interval from 1 up to 5. And we're not including 5 here because 5 is not the y-coordinate of any point on our graph. Now, sometimes students get confused and they won't include this bottom portion here because they're only looking at this piece of the graph. But aren't these y-values here y-coordinates for points over here? So they are y-coordinates for points on our graph. So we include the entire interval from 1 up to 5. So this is our range here. And this is how we find the domain and range of a function given its graph. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.